Hello there, my name is Dr. Carlo Oger. I'm a board certified emergency physician. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to manage your blood pressure when you're already taking medications and for whatever reason today, the blood pressure is high. We're gonna talk about when is it an emergency? When is it an urgent matter that needs to be taken care of for the next few hours, maybe the next day? And when is it truly not an emergency? I will also talk to you about how to medicate yourself if you're already on blood pressure medications and the importance of keeping a close uh, track of your blood pressure. So when you present to the doctor what's going on, we know exactly what the blood pressure's been, how is it tracking, etc. But before we get started, this video is sponsored finally by a blood pressure cuff by Check Me. Now, I have personally used this blood pressure cuff now for uh, a year or so. My first year, I was in denial. The blood pressures came out high, and I was like, nah, I can't be right. I'm, I don't have high blood pressure. I'm really healthy. I've been running marathons. I've been training. It's not real. Every so often, I would check it again. It would be high. I'm like, no, that's not real. So I went to the doctor. It was high. Eh, maybe, maybe not. And finally, I got some blood work, and my kidney function was up. Then... I was like, ooh, maybe the blood pressure is really high. So then I went back and tracked my numbers and it's been high. So I talked to the doctor and I started blood pressure medicine. I started lisinopril at 2.5 milligrams and that's worked well. But this blood pressure cough was really cool about it. And why you should consider it is because it's a Bluetooth. So the information syncs to your phone through an app. It gives you like, if it's green, yellow, orange, red, in terms of how bad the elevation is, it track your pattern of blood pressures over time. So when you go to the doctor and show him, he can see the last few days, he can see the last month, he can see the last year of your blood pressure fluctuations. And that data is very valuable, especially if like my blood pressures were, were up here and as soon as start medication, over here. So that is very valuable data. Like I said, it syncs to the phone. It has an USB-C. The battery lasts forever. I had it in the shelf for a long, long time. Keep checking pressures. Never charge it in months. But of course, now I'm using almost every day to check my own blood pressures and tracking it down so I know if I need to increase my blood pressure medicine or not. Um, and uh, so check it out. I'm going to put a link in the description below. The blood pressure monitor by Check Me Bluetooth. It saves all the data of your blood pressures and heart rate and it sends them to your phone. From the phone, you can do screenshots, you can see patterns, you can send them to your doctor, you can show them what's going on. Highly recommend the product. It actually detected my blood pressure before I ever wanted to um, admit that it was high. Now let's talk about high blood pressure. The first thing is, is when you check your blood pressure, you wanna make sure you're nice and relaxed. You don't wanna be hyped up, moving around and stuff. So if you are walking around the home and if you are doing things, sit down, Take a couple deep breaths, 30 seconds or so, then put the blood pressure cuff in your arm. Make sure that it's in the right place, that it's aimed the right way, and your arm is not being held like this, you're not doing pressure, you have it nice and relaxed. You don't wanna be putting strength and muscle contraction that's gonna affect the ability of the cuff to compress and get a accurate blood pressure. So you wanna have nice and relaxed, sit down, take some deep breaths, and check it. If it's high, give it a couple more seconds, check it again. Now that second time's high again, that confirms you have elevated blood pressure. So the first question that I should ask you as a physician, somebody showing up for my blood pressure is high, what do I do is, do you have any symptoms? So if you don't have chest pain, or if you don't have a headache, you don't feel dizzy, you don't have palpitations, you're not numb or tingly, you're truly asymptomatic elevation of blood pressure, there's probably not much to do. In other words, the blood pressure elevation is non-urgent. Uh, you can kind of just monitor it, make sure you're taking your medication, um, maybe take an extra medication, and we'll talk about treatment in the future. When it is urgent, if you have minor symptoms, like maybe some lightheadedness, maybe a mild headache, maybe an occasional palpitations, but no chest pain, no numbness or tingling, just kind of minor symptoms, uh, maybe you feel flushed and your blood pressure is elevated, you should call your doctor. You should seek the advice of a physician or medical provider first. Now, 
In my experience, most of the doctors elevated blood pressure with symptoms, they will send you to the emergency department. Why? Because they want to get blood work on you. We want to see if there's end organ damage. We want to see if the troponins or the markers for the heart are elevated. Make sure you electrolyze it, okay? And in case you need emergent management of the blood pressure, that can happen right away. Um, so that would be a, a hypertensive urgency. It's an urgent matter because it's elevated with symptoms, but it's not an emergency just yet. An emergency is your blood pressure is high, high, and you have chest pain, and you have numbness and tingling, or your arms go numb or weak. Those are severe symptoms. You have shortness of breath. You've gone into congestive heart failure. You know that because you're gurgling breath, your swollen legs, and things like that. That's a hypertensive emergency. And that's when we manage the blood pressure in the emergency very acutely with IV medications, drop the MAP, mean arterial blood pressure by one third, and monitor with blood work and get you admitted for continuous control of the blood pressure, okay? So we talked about hypertension without symptoms, non-urgent, hypertension with symptoms, urgent, hypertension with severe symptoms, hypertensive emergency, go to the emergency department. So Let's say you have minor symptoms and your blood pressure is high. You have blood pressure medication at home. So the important thing to know here is whether or not you're on a low dose or a max dose daily. If you're on a max dose daily, you're not going to be able to take an extra dose of that medication. So if you're already on lisinopril 40 milligrams, you probably won't take an extra pill. But if you're on lisinopril 2.5 milligrams and my blood pressure is high, I'm just going to take an extra dose, let it simmer, chill out. Half an hour later, I'm going to check again the blood pressure. Hopefully, it has come down. And this same can be true if you take metoprolol, amlodipine, hydrochlorothiazide. All those medications have a pretty wide range of dosage. So you can po possibly go up and take an extra pill of any of those, cardizem and so on, to lower the blood pressure. That's what we're going to do in the emergency department. We're going to take your own medication and give you extra and see it break down while we get some blood work, do an EKG and those kinds of things. So make sure that you're not on the maximal dose because you won't be able to do that. And again, the best advice will come to your own physician. So try to contact them, try to get an urgent care appointment or log in to um, a teledoc type uh, website like sesamecare.com, which I personally staff and I'm there for Georgia and Pennsylvania. And uh, they can give you direction as how to treat that blood pressure. But if you are symptomatic, it's an urgent matter. You either go to urgent care or go to the emergency department. Bets are go to the emergency department. You can do the EKG. You can do the blood work. We can medicate you. We can bring it down acutely. And then we can make the desired adjustments to make sure it stays down. So we learned today about uh, hypertension non-emergency, hypertensive urgency, hypertensive emergency, what can you do if it's high? You can double up your dose, take an extra pill, as long as you're not on maximal doses of your blood pressure medication. Always call your doctor. This, this is advice based on my experience, but never to replace the advice of your own physician for your particular case. These are general recommendations, things I tell my patients when I see them in the emergency department, and you should take them like so. And remember, if you have high blood pressure, one of the most important things is to keep accurate collection of your data to see the patterns, if it's going up, it's coming down, is it better in the morning, better at night, and so on. So check it with something that you can easily track, not write them down in a paper and the paper's nowhere, show up the doctor says, I don't know the exact numbers. This type of device to check me, uh, blood pressure cough, it syncs to your phone through an app. So all the blood pressures you measure are going to be there. If it's the morning, if it's night with your heart rate, is your heart rate up? Is it down? And so on. I've used it personally for about a year and I like it. It works well. The first thing I do in the morning, not every morning, but half of the mornings is while I'm still in bed, I just put the blood pressure cough, hit the button and check what it is. Before I start my day, before I stress out, before I take my blood pressure medicine, that's my baseline relaxed blood pressure. And then uh, sometimes during the day, I'll check it once and see. And all, usually it's about 10 points higher, like in the 120 something over 80 something. So not bad, but it's on the tra track to pre-hypertension. 
So big shout out to our sponsor, Check Me. Um, the link will be in the description below. And you've learned about high blood pressure, how to manage it. If you have a spike in your blood pressure, the different levels of severity. And I hope you like this video. If you find value in the content of this video, make sure you share and you comment and you check out the Check Me blood pressure cuff. Take care, guys.